Welcome to a video from TheGistLifestyle.com In this video we're going to look at Windows 11 build 22610 for Windows Insiders on the Dev and Beta channel So we've not had a build for a couple of weeks but uh, now we've got a build There's not a huge amount of changes but there are some UI and a lot of fixes with this build Still no tab browsing in File Explorer yet either so with this build there's changes for or additional policies for IT administrators, things like disabling the quick start fly out and hiding task view and things like that, but we're going to concentrate on some of the UI type stuff. Um, so the first one I'm sure, let's look at task manager and this processes screen now supports your accent colour, so that's my accent colour that it's using now, so it's a bit more colourful now, um, yeah it's nice to see that a little bit more colour in task manager. Uh, task Manager is looking quite different these days with these uh, sort of Windows 11 style, so that's good to see. Um, something else interesting as well is uh, there's no watermark down here on the bottom right hand side. Um, it doesn't mean it's the final build that's going to roll out, but it does mean that we're on that track, I think, for uh, 22H2 to go out, so that's one of the things that's in there. If I open a file in Farmer, you notice know, icons have slightly changed, We've got the rename icon. Properties has got that little spanner on there as well. So uh, Microsoft say this is for improved discoverability. So um, yeah, it makes a, sl a slight difference. So let's have a look at some of the other changes. The Sam, the uh, family safety widget is now um, shows all the family's locations. So you can do family sort of sharing your locations from the family widget. I don't think I've got mine set up actually on here. There, there, but there it is. I used to use that when my kids were younger. Some other things as well. Um, the um, SMB1 client is disabled. So that's the way of sharing with old NAS devices. And it's an insecure pro protocol. And Microsoft have disabled that. If you upgrade with a version that... Uh, if you had it previously enabled, um, it doesn't disable it for you. But by default, it will be disabled from now on. And... Um, the battery time remaining is uh, showing, uh, but it's not showing on my device here. It's maybe because I've got it plugged in, but it said if your device supports it, that should be returning back. That's good to see. It's been a while since that, that was there. Sad news for uh, tablet users is that they've disabled some of the tablet features that rolled out in 22563. They're hopefully building those back soon. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if they don't roll out, that they come back once uh, 22H2 is done. But that was the old swipe up and swipe down from the taskbar. I can't show here, I'm on, I'm on a Surface laptop, not a, not a uh, Surface Go. Uh, that's a real shame because I like that. I'm going to uh, update my Surface, laptop, uh, my Surface Go and see what they've actually removed from that. Um, there's some fixes. Uh, you can... Um, Upgrade from Windows 10 to this build now, which you couldn't do previously. There's fixes for the taskbar, like shift right click. Um, there's stiff, uh, things for fixes for notification center. There's fixes from the start, so that the app icon for Edge should look correct now. Um, File Explorer um, shouldn't crash anymore when you're right clicking on files, which which is good. There's quite a lot of fixes, and I include a full link on digitalized.com. There are um, a couple of known issues that are worth um, watching out for with this build. The show hidden icons fly out in the system tray may com may um, completely disappear. Um, mine is showing it like that, um, but that's but for some people it's not appearing at all. Enabling enabling efficiency mode from the command bar in Task Manager can cause the process list to fluctuate uh, between the apps and background groups, and they're they're working on that and uh, some widgets not may, may not fully open and there's some issues with live capture but the main thing with this build is the new the updated colors the removal of the tablet features which i'm a bit disappointed about and the file explorer changes thanks for watching the video you can find out more than just including videos on tablet experience what it looks like and uh, things like i've even done a uh, latest video is upgrading windows vista to windows 11 see if it's possible and i've gone through all the os's doing it and speeded it up so give you sort of an in one minute video so thanks so much for watching this video i'll see you on the next one